A developing story we've been following for you, the corruption probe targeting Illinois' powerful House Speaker, who's also the chairman of the Democratic Party, Mike Madigan. He hasn't been charged with a crime, but prosecutors say ComEd admits to giving out jobs, contracts, and payments to curry favor with Madigan and pass their legislation. WGN's Mike Lowe is here. Tell us more about that. Well, this afternoon, Mike Madigan's offices were subpoenaed, and those subpoenas issued to Mike Madigan's offices named two former Chicago aldermen prominent businesses like Walgreens, the feds are seeking information on hiring, lobbying, and other dealings. But it also speaks volumes about the nature of the very stubborn public corruption problem we have here in Illinois. U.S. Attorney John Lausch and his team of federal prosecutors implicated 78-year-old Illinois House Speaker Mike Madigan as part of a sprawling corruption investigation. The admitted facts detail a nearly decade-long corruption scheme involving top management of a large public utility, leaders in state government, consultants, and several others inside and outside of government. In two words, it's not good. In a criminal filing, prosecutors outlined a years-long bribery scheme that they say involved more than a million dollars worth of payments, jobs, and benefits to Madigan and his associates. Madigan was not charged or even named in the documents, but he is identified as public official A. A Madigan spokeswoman denied any wrongdoing. In 2019, the speaker told reporters he was not under investigation. No, I'm not a target of anything. Friday afternoon, the embattled speaker's offices were subpoenaed by federal agents. The feds are seeking communications concerning Exelon and Commonwealth Edison, documents and communications with elected Democrats and other associates looking to obtain a benefit, and efforts to seek employment on behalf of those connected to Madigan in Chicago's 13th Ward. The speaker has a lot that he needs to answer for. Governor J.B. Pritzker did not mince words, saying the nation's longest serving speaker should step down if the allegations are true. There is no question that he will have betrayed the public trust.